Hello everyone! What do you think would happen if dinosaurs had survived? Would there be people among us who would keep dinosaurs as pets, like in the Flintstones by any chance? Or on the other hand, like in Jurassic Park, will giant dinosaurs eat us all up? Welcome to this channel ladies and gentlemen. Pause for a moment and let's think together. Why did dinosaurs become extinct? Dinosaurs dominated the Earth throughout almost the entire Mesozoic era, from the early Triassic to the late Cretaceous. That is, for approximately 160 million years, the powerful footsteps of dinosaurs shook the ground. Those who belonged to the huge, phylogenetic class of dinosaurs were very varied indeed. Some were carnivores, some were herbivores, some large, some small, some bipedal, some quadrupedal. Various estimates suggest that there were approximately 1,500 to 2,500 species of dinosaurs. We see their distant descendants every day. We can go out to a park in town and simply sow breadcrumbs. Yes, that is a pigeon. That means all types of birds. Not only have they survived, but they feel completely comfortable with their current situation. But the non-bird dinosaurs were wiped out. Why did that happen? There is still debate among researchers as to whether they became extinct in an instant or gradually died out. There is little disagreement, however, that meteorites were the primary cause of the extinction. A burning mass, 10 to 15 kilometers in diameter, fell on the Yucatan Peninsula, resulting in a natural cataclysm. The force of the impact could have been equivalent to a billion atomic bombs. Tremendous earthquakes shook the earth and caused unprecedented tsunamis up to 100 meters high. Tons of ash and soot rose up and obscured the sun, making it dark as night even during the day. In a word, it was truly the end of the world. Every ecosystem of the time was destroyed and nearly half of all life died. The dinosaurs were gone. There are still traces of the cataclysmic events of that time. A scar of 180 kilometers in diameter was left where the meteorite hit, the Chicxulub crater. Much time has passed, the world has recovered from the damage of the meteorite and the earth has begun to regenerate for the umpteenth time. The next to pick up the baton were the mammals. They survived the natural cataclysms and were able to develop peacefully after the dreaded carnivorous dinosaurs disappeared. And finally, the mammals achieve great success. Mammals are now dominant land-dwelling animals. Some of them are highly intelligent, operate smartphones and watch YouTube. If the meteorite had fallen even a few minutes earlier, if it had hit the ocean and the impact had been lessened, it might not have been such a catastrophe. In that case, what would have happened to the dinosaurs? Did they eventually gain intelligence? And what about us? How could the human species have come into the world in the first place? If the meteorites had not fallen. Multiple researchers claim that the dinosaurs were doomed to extinction anyway. Even if there had been no global natural catastrophe, the dinosaurs would still have gone extinct, just not at such a rapid pace. Even without meteorite impacts, their populations would continue to decline during the last 40 million years of their existence. Mammals, on the other hand, will rise through the ranks and develop rapidly without being dented. In the end, it is the mammals that are better adapted to the cooler climate that will become the dominant species. But if dinosaurs had had the chance to develop further, what would they have evolved into? First, dinosaurs would have had smaller bones. Earth's vegetation has also changed, so the food for herbivorous dinosaurs would have to change drastically. Ferns and gymnosperms were eaten by giant dinosaurs during the Jurassic period, but these plants do not provide much nutrition. To eat a full meal, 
Sauropoda needed a long digestive system to allow food to pass very slowly. But by the end of the Cretaceous, however, much more nutrient-rich angiosperms already appear. This means that, sooner or later, dinosaurs will have to move to diet foods such as roses and violets. Then the huge bodies would no longer be necessary. Sauropoda would become much smaller. Perhaps they will even start eating fruit. Small feathered dinosaurs could well follow the same evolutionary path as primates and gain the ability to climb trees. Because the fresh oranges are worth it. And besides, dinosaurs have to face multiple ice ages. That means there's a good chance that we will see dinosaurs with thicker skins and covered with feathers and hair. It would be wonderful to bring home such a fluffy little guy. One very important question remains. It is the question of whether dinosaurs can be intelligent. If anyone can earn the title of the smartest dinosaur, it is the Troodon. This cunning carnivorous dinosaur had a long skull that was large enough to contain as much brain as a modern prosimian. Obviously, this one is much more intelligent than most other dinosaurs. Troodon hunted in groups, and by controlling their behavior within the group, they had a better chance of finding large preys. They had very good vision, and were so agile that they could easily get a perfect score in the 100 meter run. In addition, many researchers are convinced that Troodons could lift stones with their three-fingered feet and use them as tools. Imagine if carnivorous dinosaurs like them had already been so successful back then. What kind of evolution would they have gone through between the meteorite impact and the present day? It would have taken a full 200,000 years for them to become intelligent to the level of the first Homo sapiens. Troodon will eventually look like humanoid aliens. They will be tall, have green skin covered with scales, and huge eyes with vertical pupils. Isn't this already a fine humanoid reptile? By now, they are probably actively flying satellites to Jupiter and pursuing careers in the IT field. Wait a minute. What about us humans, then? Humans would not have existed at all. Large mammals could only have emerged because the dinosaurs vacated the planet. The only ones who survived the heyday of the dinosaurs were the little ones, like rodents, who were nocturnal and hid from the large carnivorous dinosaurs who were frightening during the day. In short, either humans or dinosaurs, only one of them should survive on this planet. If humans live side by side with dinosaurs. But let us imagine what life would be like if we lived side by side with dinosaurs. First of all, coexistence with a Tyrannosaurus would not be comfortable. Giant carnivorous dinosaurs see us as walking beefsteaks and are too dumb to remember that we can fight back with fire, for example. So, the only shield that would provide some protection from these monsters would be a solid, sturdy wall. On the other hand, large dinosaurs like Diplodocus would make excellent food for our ancestors. Kill one and the whole clan will be able to feast for a month. We even managed to conquer the mammoth. Unfortunately, trying to tame and take advantage of Sauropoda will surely not work. They are too slow-witted and too stupid. So, I am sorry, Fred Flintstone, but your dinosaur excavator does not seem very convincing. But maybe just like the ostrich in modern times, it is possible to breed on a farm. Then it would have been Diplodocus, not cattle, grazing on our farms. That's all for today. Thank you all for watching. When you think about it, it is true that the fate of dinosaurs is not very enviable. Humans have been very successful in eradicating the giant creatures. If some species of dinosaurs had survived today, I'm sure they would have been protected in wildlife sanctuaries. And the smaller dinosaurs would still be raiding backyard dumps competing with raccoons. That said, we will never know it. Because a huge meteorite wiped the dinosaurs out of the world so that we could emerge and become what we are. We have no way of knowing whether this is good or bad. But it would be somewhat rash to recover dinosaur DNA from mosquito blood trapped in a drop of amber. See how that turned out in Jurassic Park? 
This is a brief farewell to you all. See you again. Goodbye 